I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw ancient Hebrew pottery. I take two fingers in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line out and down, and connect. I come right here in the center. I'm going to take two fingers from the inside and I'm going to put another dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, keep going, curve line up, and connect. I come inside on the right hand side and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line down, curve line, straight line up, connect. I come underneath and I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line up, come back to the left, straight line down, curve line, straight line up, connect. On the left hand side, I draw a straight diagonal, curve line, straight line up, connect, and on the right side, I draw a straight diagonal, curve line, straight diagonal up, connect. Come over here on the right and we're going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect. Come on the left, curve line up, curve line down, connect. Come inside, one baby circle, two baby circles, dot, dot, right in the center, curve line. We're going to add little straight lines inside on the left inside on the right, down here on the left, down here on the right. Now I come right next to that figure and I put a dot and I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to put a curve line over, curve line back, connect. On the right, on the left, I'm going to bring a curve line up, curve line down, connect. I add one, two, three little straight lines. You can fit them in one, two, three little straight lines. I come back over here on the left and I just draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line up, over, straight line up, over. Come inside and I'm going to draw one baby circle, two baby circles, dot, dot, straight line out, over, in, connect, and little straight lines going all the way around. Okay? Now, this should be lettering, but instead I'm going to do zigzag, zigzag, curve line, zigzag, curve line, zigzag, keep going, keep going, and when you get to the end, we're going to come back around and do it again. This piece of pottery is a magic incantation bowl, which means that all of the magic, uh, magic sayings are the lettering that's done on the outside. And it's written in like uh, an ancient script of which I know nothing about. So instead of writing a bunch of letters or symbols that I'm not sure about, I'm just going to do an approximation and show you that all this part of the bowl is filled with letters and spells to keep away demons and angels and all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, so it goes all the way around. We'll talk in a minute about the rest of it. Keep going. So you fill in this whole entire space. Okay, remember it's ceramic, it's pottery, so they're drawing on the clay. 
okay? Then come back up to the top and we're going to add a rim all the way around. Skinny mini and connect, okay? All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we're going to start off and just put some yellow loop-de-loop -loop, all the way over everything we just drew. Now, this is as if you are looking down inside the bowl. So all the drawings and all the words and spells and all of that was written on the inside of this bowl. So I'm first going to give it some yellow just for a little bit of color. Then, very lightly, I'm going to come over and do loop-de-loop. -loop. Now these were the only parts that they had in color. So basically they're using the clay body, the, cl the color of the clay, and probably an iron oxide which you can paint with for the drawings inside and all the lettering on the outside. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, you don't want to make it too dark again because this is an artifact. You don't want to lose all your detail. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my ancient Hebrew pottery bowl all colored in. And I think what was really interesting is that a lot of the villages would have these bowls. These were not that unusual. And if you needed help or some magic to ward off something evil, you could go get a bowl and uh, do the incantation. On the outside, it was a sacred ceremony. Okay, bye-bye.